Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Isles of How and Why, and I am going to go check something out before we head west, ain't that just the way? But the editing process, there is a lot of thinking and downtime that I'm cutting out, and it allows me to see certain things a little more clear-headedly, and sometimes I'll notice something while I'm editing, because I'm paying so much attention to the footage, that I will see while I'm doing that, that I didn't see in the moment while I was playing. So I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna come over here to where I got the key in the tunnel because I think there are a couple of leads I missed in here. One to the left at least. Um, okay, that's a dead end, but this is the more important one. I think this might lead me up into a room I thought was previously inaccessible. And that's exactly what it does. This is not even a puzzle really. Well, I've got this now. I've got that part I can access, but now it's just ring-a-ding-ding, -ding, baby. Come in here, and what does that allow me to get to? A puzzle, naturally. Okay, so we're going to be solving one more puzzle, at least, before we head west. You always think you're going to be doing one thing in this game, but then things get happening and you, you do another. So it looks like we have to get... Wow, there is a lot going on here. This might be a fair chunk of our day. Let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and step on this. Okay, that reveals the left... The left light. Oh, hey, how about that, though? I do see real quick... Ah, here we go. A key and access to this. And I don't know if you can see it on the screen, but something is sleeping in there. Over to the right here. So we may be able to go in this type of water at some point. Maybe we'll need to get some boots or some flippers. But something is taking a nap over to my right. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to walk over there because there's a rune in the wall that reveals something. Uh, but I do want to get back to this puzzle right here. So looks like we've got access to quite a bit of the caves at this point. And I wonder if going outside, uh, where are we on the map? If we go outside, that might lead us somewhere that we haven't previously accessed yet. That's the thing about this game. Um, it does allow you to go somewhere else if you hit a wall. But more of it is initially solvable than you might, than you might think at first glance. So, okay, we got to get this held down. We've got to get all three switches held down so that we can okay the idea is to get all three switches held down so we can access the bell at the bottom probably don't want to do that though uh we probably want to leave this intact as long as we can so first of all it's totally fine to just well maybe not uh maybe we want to do that last somehow uh, or it could be that golems help each other out and kind of when they bop against each other. Let's see if that's true. Uh, if I can kind of get a golem into a position where I can do a test. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, one will knock the other. So we kind of want to get them in a straight line it looks like. Uh, so, we have to wonder how to go about that. So, let me reset, because that's probably not right. I just wanted to do a golem on golem test. So, one, two, three. You want to knock them one, two, three. So that... Okay. Okay. So there's definitely an order you want to do this in. But I'm going to have to stop and think in order to puzzle that out. Alright, so what I think we want to do is put a block here. Because when we push him over here, it stops him there. He's not on top of a switch at all. And that gives him room to get knocked by one of the others when they come down the way. 
how do I want to push them so... Let me push him here. I'm going to push him here. I think I'm going to kind of pit them against each other. Let's see. Bump, 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 up. I'm going to push you up. Because if I do that, I can push you here, down, right, and up. Okay, I need to do a little bit more setup real quick. Now I want to push this one. And that rolls you here. You stop, but you don't hit a switch. And now, now it's just right and down. And that should get all three of them onto a switch if I push you to the right, right? Perfect. Perfectly done. There we go. We get a star now for our troubles. Um, looks like I have to do this, but it doesn't matter because I get that. And we're up to our 12th star. Wow. We might even be able to go to the lower right island. Uh, the one that cost 15 stars to get into before we go to the west. Man, we, our itinerary might be completely different. Okay, and that gives us an out here. Okay, so nothing new so far. That's the only new puzzle I can think of that I've encountered. Unless I can somehow get in on the other side of the one that was off this way. Uh, it was, I believe, one screen to the left of this one. If I could figure out how to get into the... If I could figure out how to get in here from the, from the southern path then I might feel like solving this one. Uh, because I believe I cut it out of this one, but I tried doing a little bit of this one last time, and it looked like I could not do it coming in from up here. Now, that may not necessarily be true, but I do think it might be easier coming in from where that one up arrow block that I have to clear out is doing things but i think that's all i want to do for now in here so i have a pretty good bit of space cleared out coming out here sets me next to the magic xylophone which is not too far from the west so let's go ahead and get trucking let's do new things let's try to mix it up let's try to be a little exploratory uh and not just spend 80 episodes hanging out in one place. Let's come over here and let's go west, young man. Let's see what the big wide ocean has for us. You must be the other turtle's twin brother or sister. Uh, I didn't investigate. Okay, so there's a couple islands here. Uh, maybe even more than that. What's up here? Are there secrets on the map that I can uncover? That's... This just seems like boundary, but we have cleared out some of the cloud cover, and that's that can't be anything but a good thing. So this is a block much like the ones you see on land. Is it just cleared out by pressing down? That it is. Oh, I hope we haven't uh, rocked the ecosystem anyway. So there's lots of... Okay, there's a whirlpool. Whoa! The world has opened up big time all of a sudden. So we need to create a bit of focus. 45 stars. 45 stars to Snake Scorpion Rock over here. Um, okay, yeah, there you can swim in these little bits. So there are paths that are not super rocky that you can swim into. That is worth remembering because that may uncover secrets. There are a couple of islands we can get to. There are many things we can do. This one looks like it has a lot going on. That may be our next big island. This one's a little bit more volcano-esque. Um, this one has a giant eyeball sticking up out of top of it. Here's another. Okay, so the tiny islands probably have like one screen. Oh, there's the three. I didn't mean to land here. Oh, but we can do this. Okay, so the tiny islands have like a like one secret. Maybe there's something off screen, but they don't have a map. But they also don't require one because, yeah, there's not going to be a map on this island. This one has a new kind of switch also. 
that X one up top that will, well, make this go down, obviously. There's a lot going on right here. Um, I don't necessarily want to get into that just yet, although I do have the means to do so. Um, it might be worth doing one of those. In fact, um, the one from the last episode took quite a long time, so tiny islands might require their own episodes. So that's something to keep in mind. Don't go to a tiny island after doing a lot of stuff. I have to admit, I'm really curious about the whirlpool. What does going in the whirlpool do? Because it's obviously not going to kill us. Oh, it's a teleporter. And we have stars that we can use to cash in here. Okay, well, that's interesting. 15 to get down here. Too much rock outcropping. Can't go there. Um, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Over here is 30 stars and blocked off this way. Here's another tiny one. Here are a couple more tinies. We might go around doing tinies for a while, actually. And, well, this is three stars. This is only three stars to get in here. So these might not be super complicated. Let's go to the iceberg. Let's, let's commit to a tiny one. Let's go to the iceberg, see what's up here. Okay, so we go here. Um, nothing to press on at the moment. Uh, is the shell just decoration? Seems to be. Okay. I can't go anywhere around the island. There's no shallow water for me to explore. Although, we may have another situation like we had on the uh, on the previous tiny island. Where if we go... Yep, I see a hole. I see a rune right there already. 49 stars to get in. Never mind. Uh, this is way too rich for our blood. We gotta find a place that we can afford to visit. Okay, this island is very simple. This was the one just over by the iceberg. Um, okay, I can walk anywhere around the turtle. That is not okay, though. Um, I can walk anywhere around the turtle. Everything else seems too deep. Yeah, everything else is not fine. And I can't get in here. Oh, hey, hi. A, a key block of some kind. That I have not revealed. Hey, that... I remember that symbol from earlier. Hmm. Okay, so if I go up in there, if I push a block into there, is that a thing? I can't push this block any further, though. There's... Maybe I can get in. If I keep pressing on things. I think the key is going to be getting in through here, though. Uh, and I haven't unlocked that yet. And I think the secret to that may be on the next main island. So I'm going to go there. Okay, yeah. This is just a... This is just an A to B, B to A kind of thing. So let's go here. This seems to be how to advance things. Um, and we can check out certain tiny islands another time, but I think, well, now we've got blue blocks here. Um, we can go around the beach a little bit, specifically in this, what about the coral? The coral cannot be pushed on. Okay, so well, we can go around this way. Um, this is going, this looks like it's going to push us away. Yes, so can't get that key. Um, anything going on here? No. Okay, so we're on a beach, but it's a different kind of beach. So we're being blocked off. Oops. That's probably not good. So I wonder if the game is keeping track of that. I wonder if the game's keeping track of deaths. Any secret waterfall passages for me to go through? I figured that would be too deep. So yeah, straight ahead is all we can do. Okay, so now we walk in. And we're just carried by the current until we go a certain way. Got it. Okay. So we can push blocks through the current as well. We're learning. We're doing new things. New and exciting adventures. So what we want to do is take this. Bring it up into here. Okay. I can't even move until it's done washing out of the river. Got it. Okay. Very good. Hey, there's the lady. 
She's going to run off in a direction, I'm sure. Now that I've seen her, found her. Okay, she goes up. But that does let us ding this. Okay, and all the while we want to be looking on the ground for things. Is this too deep to step into? Okay, yes, it is. But hey, the difference is you can see me drowning in that one. Um, will I be able to walk on spike blocks at some point? Because how else would I get in there except... Okay, yeah. Um, so then, my only option for now... I did get a blue... I did get a blue sphere, by the way. Um, looks like my only option right now is to either go left or... I'm going to try to follow her. How did she get around the block? She's a filthy cheater. How dare. Oh, she's sitting there at the top of the steps, just waiting for me. Waiting for me to be able to navigate translucent water, I see. And I will be able to go under the water at some point because I see a star having a little nap down there. So what can we do in the meantime? So we got to get around to her. This is a... This is a water block. This will create water. Will... Okay. Will it fill out the whole row like I'm guessing it will? Okay, so that makes that safe if I want to go here. Okay, ooh, okay. Water blocks can go on top of spikes. Water doesn't trigger spikes, apparently. So let's open this up. That lets us back into there. If I go in here, I'm dead. So, what I want to do is... Well, I got to push this here. And that allows me to push it here. Okay, very nice. Hmm. But then I die, right? So, oh, I see. I have... That's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. I, I think I was going to die anyway. So, I think it's okay to... Yeah, because once I get off of here, boom, I'm dead. Uh, and I can't... I can't escape that no way, no how. So, got to do it from scratch. Although... Now I can do this. So I can take this through here. Um, okay. All right. Probably same deal as here. We want to push it down so that we have a safe place to push this thing. Got it. Okay. So you have to reset the screen. That's good to know sometimes. Sometimes you have to do that. That's something worth keeping in mind. Oh, that pushed it too far over, though. So I only need one block. Oops. Uh, all right. All right, well, then let's take that and do what we need to do with it. Okay. So there's a definite order to operations here. Take this. Put it here. Um, now I'm curious about secrets. Very easy for me to get distracted. This is, this is a very bad game for someone with ADHD. Uh, so push this here. Yes. Okay, yeah. Definite order to how you want to do things. I have a key, so I can pop that open and get that. Uh, and I can go down any old time I want. Um, although this, this is worth investigating as well. So I'm going to reset the screen once again. And I'm going to push this in here and see if I can't. All right. I, okay. Yeah. Fill in the hole. Then see if I can push. I need to get this out of the way first, maybe. Hmm. Or can I just fill it up even more? Can I make even more of a No. I couldn't push that up into there. Can these be pushed into water to make more water? Oh, they can float on water. Hey, that's another way to do it. I thought I would have to use the log to do that. But hey, we can get a we can get this out of it. Okay, so now we have the choice of up or down. That's very handy. Alright, so water box can float across water. Water can float on water. What a concept. Okay, let's. Let's check out maybe, well, can we get to, hey, there's a star. Okay. 
We don't want to do too much in one day. We want to kind of moderate, modulate what we do. Okay, so we can get in here now. We can grab a star. That's very nice. So, okay, if we go here. Okay, some kind of some kind of moon block. Once we get this going, the Buddha will be happy. Maybe he'll give us something. Let's see if she'll talk to us now. Uh, may we approach the bench? Oh, that didn't even let us collect the star. Okay, so yeah, we're going to have to be able to go underwater for this to even be a thing. So that's our next... That's our next big goal to figure out. Figure out how to... How to not drown in the translucent water. But... I think we have some goals, uh, but, ooh, these bolt. See, everything is too intriguing. You have to be able, you have to be willing and able to put a hard stop on your activity for the day. And that is what I am doing right here. We're stopping right here. There's obviously a lot going on with this beach, but, <laughs> but if, I, if I go on every single whim that I feel, we will end up with 45 minute episodes and I value your time more than that. So I want you to go on and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.